Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps. So today, as you can tell by the title of this video, we're gonna be talking about the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. Okay, I know that like I'm super late to the game on this because when it first came out and launched, I was like, ugh, like I'm not gonna buy that. Or every time I saw swatches, I was like, that doesn't look like anything special. But I happened to randomly see it at Ulta and I was like, let me just swatch this for a second. And when I did, I mean, I just like, I fell in love and I was like, I gotta have it, <laughs> basically. Um, so this is the Sweet Peach Palette. The packaging is just super, super cute. And when you open it up, the packaging inside smells like peaches it's not overpowering it's just really like soft and pleasant so i love that the case itself is made out of like a metal and it stays closed like it doesn't actually seem like it's gonna fling open when you open it up you have a really cute little mirror here and then you have all of these shades i will do like a close-up for you guys so you guys can see how they look but i just love how diverse these shades are. You have lighter shades here that are really good for like highlighting or under the brow. You have these middle shades that are more pinky, bronzy, and then you've got the darker shades that are the greens, you know, the uh, dark browns, the blacks, the purples, deep purples. I mean, the whole palette in and of itself is absolutely stunning. Now I've owned one previous Too Faced palette and I wasn't really impressed by the pigmentation. Being that I am darker skin tone myself, I really look for eyeshadows that have a lot of pigment because I want them to stand out on my eyes. I don't wanna feel like I have to use a lot of product to get it on there or I have to use Fix Plus with every shade. That's the worst, um, especially when a palette is priced in the higher range. So. This palette does retail for $49. I will show you guys some swatches so you can see if you're just curious, but I'm just gonna say from the bat, you know, I'm super critical of products. Like, I'm not afraid to say if I hate something. And I bought this fully expecting that I would probably return it because I wasn't gonna like it, but I'm so surprised. I think for somebody that, you know, does a lot of like, natural everyday looks like you're going to work you're going to school and you need to do something that's like not like loud on the eyes but still bright like just beautiful and pretty and subtle you know you have that option and then if you want to do like a transition into nighttime look it gives you enough colors in there to really like build it up you know so that it's not like a super like safe palette or just boring palette it has some like pizzazz to it and as you can see on my eyes, I have like a lot of the orange and pinky, you know, tones on there. And I just think it looks beautiful. It stands out. It's not too much, you know. It makes my skin tone, it just like complements it, you know. It makes it look really nice. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into some swatches. So this is the first row here. The lightest color, the white one, is white peach. It's got a little bit of luminosity to it. If you're, you know, more fair skin, it's really good to put under the brow bone. That's really gonna like highlight it. The next one, the peachy shimmery color, is um, luscious. It's so freaking beautiful. Um, it looks really great on me as an inner corner highlight, and you can definitely use it as a main lid color. Next is just peachy, more of a pink shimmer tone and then the green one is bless her heart the black one is a really like black shimmery shade and i think it's really good for like a nice smoky eye and the last one is called charmed i'm sure which is more of like an ashy kind of brown color as you can see right here so moving on to the second row this one right here is more of a yellow shimmer tone. Now it's called Peaches and Cream, which could also be a really nice uh, brow bone like highlight underneath or even on the inner corners of the eyes. This next one here, that's called Cobbler. And it's this really nice like brown yet peachy undertoned 
um, shade. You can see it right here. It almost blends into my skin. <laughs> and then this next one here, that's called Candied Peach. And then the next one next to it, this one here is called Bellini. I think the shimmer shades in this palette are like my absolute favorite. They're just, they come off so beautifully, not too powdery. They just blend really, really, really well. Then here we have Peach Pit. And then this purple one, dark purple here, is called a Delectable. Now what I really like are these two go together. So you can create a really nice, like, purple smoky eye with the black that was in the first row so all in all I think they look really beautiful on um, any kind of skin dark skin fair skin I think it'll look beautiful so this is the third and final row this first color here is called peaches and cream a really nice kind of yellow and peachy toned um, highlight for under the brow this one here is called Georgia. Then here we have Caramelized, which definitely personifies this shade. It's one of my favorite bronzy tones. Then this shade right here is called Puree. This is one of my favorite transitional colors. It just looks so freaking nice on my skin tone. And here is, this is like more of a orange tone here and it's called summer yum and this last color here this is like a purpley black shimmer color it's called talk derby to me <laughs> i love the name um now when i finger swatched it it did have a tendency to appear patchy in some spots but i think that if you're willing to take the time to blend it out it could be just so lovely and really make like a super nice sparkly smoky eye okay so i wanted to scoot you guys a little bit closer i wanted to show you guys my eye makeup so i did use the sweet peach palette here and look at how like beautiful but subtle it looks i did use uh two shimmery shades one for the lid and one for the inner corner and then the um orange color summer yum on the outer parts and i feel like they did such a good job of giving you a wide range of colors, lighter colors that could serve as, you know, under the brow bone slash transition colors, and also like darker colors that would enable you to do like a nice, fun nighttime look. Where some, some colors, some palettes, some brands, you know, you really have to be a little bit more experienced to just make it look effortless, you know? <laughs> um, but I really love this palette. I definitely suggest that you guys go check it out. You know, go swatch it in the store if you have the opportunity, um, because I feel like this is just something that could suit everybody. So I hope you guys liked this video, and let me know what are your thoughts on the Sweet Peach palette. If you have this palette, I wanna know, you know, what you think about it. And if you don't have this palette, you know, have you considered it before? And what do you think of the swatches? So yeah, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.